Sorry, pal. You're going to jail where they're gonna take your cherry. Jello. Away. In the lunch line. After your in the shower. <laughs> ah! What it is, guys! What blasphemous HD! And today we're back to do a try not to laugh push-up challenge addition to American Dad. Let's do this. Why are we folding napkins? Because there'll be food and my boss likes to wipe his mouth on swans. What the hell is this? Metrosexual soccer icon David Beckham. I can't do swans. I don't know why. Look what I found. Dick Cheney's Blackberry. Oh my god, I smell shenanigans. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ugh, it's four o'clock in the bloody morning. Hello? Um, British Prime Minister Tony Blair. Speaking. Guess what? What? Chicken butt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, Steve. I thought we were going down low. I'll have a Cosmopolitan. A Cosmo for the lady who changed my life. Just need to see some ID. <laughs> okay, here you go. Yeah, this is clearly fake. I'm gonna have to confiscate this, Dr. Ernestine Chow. But I need that to get into bars. Uh-huh. I could lose my license. What license? You're an alien. This is make-believe in our attic. We gonna have a problem? Roger, have you lost your mind? You know you can't let Steve's friends see you. Oh, Haley, they won't notice I'm not Francine. They're 13. They'll never take their eyes off my sweater meat. Oh, I can be very persuasive. Surprise! Look in your heart. I'm praying to you. Look in your heart. You can't do this. It's not right. It's Bye. a wrong situation. I, I couldn't help it. It's my nature. Somebody hands me an angle, I play it. I don't deserve to die for that. Do you think I do? This is not us. This is some hop dream. I'm praying to you. I can't die. I can't die out here in the woods. Huh? Shoot what the hell are you talking about? You know, I, I gotta admit, I was nervous about going there last night, but you were right. We were totally ready. Kind of like how you were ready for sleepaway camp in third grade, even though you cried in the car all the way there. Oh, how do you know that? Cheer up, Stan. Hey, watch this. So, uh, driver, you been doing this for a long time? Actually, my wife and I just moved out here. What? There he is. Hey, watch this, watch this. Think we can get two? Sorry, my finger hit the button by accident. What were you saying? Oh, that's okay. I was saying... When my wife and I first moved out here. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm shitty. sorry, I was just overcome with joy. Anyway, you mind if I, uh... One, two, three, four! Three hundred and seven! Three hundred and eight! Three hundred and nine! About an hour ago, I heard somebody mention chili fries. What's happening with that? Roger! 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 We'd all like to scratch our nose, Curtis. Feet, please. Thanks, Francine. No, it's me, Roger. I'm finally taking charge of this pigsty. Now I'm going upstairs to clean behind the bookshelf. Yes, Stan, there's a behind the bookshelf. I told you, Francine, it's too expensive. There they are. Do it. Do it. Hello, Israel? Yeah, this is your neighbor, Syria. Don't, don't look. Don't look. We'll get in trouble. Look, I know we've gotten off on the wrong foot, but I thought we could spend the day together at Six Flags Istanbul. Yes, I'm serious. Don't you know I like you? Yeah, it's like-like. Yeah. Great, I'll see you then. Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'll tell you the tale. But it could take a while. And when you are done, we will make the beast with two backs. I can't believe you have to pay for wives. You're such a charmer. <laughs> oh, sweetie, what's the matter? It's a bartender's job to provide a sympathetic ear. Stan is completely stopped being intimate. Well, you are kind of on the downslope. You know, back home, I was a greeter at Philaxido. It's kind of like Walmart, except when people work there for 18 years, they aren't proud of it. Ugh, I got beat up by a taco. Boy, 
Boy, when Mom and Dad get back from their trip, they're gonna be pissed you turn the swimming pool into a vineyard. Hello, Argentina. Is your refrigerator running? No? Well, maybe you shouldn't have privatized your water and power department. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, crap. What? What's wrong? Argentina just star 69'd us. <sighs> Is that bad? I don't get it. How's this sounds bad? like a family thing. I'll leave you two alone. I feel so cooped up in this place. It's like a prison, except without the thrill of a daily cavity search. Can't believe I agreed to do this. It's different this time, Eileen. He's here, and you're gonna see him, and the boys are gonna see him, and you'll all know I'm not crazy, and we can be a family again. Oh, God, don't look, don't look. What the hell? No problem, got it under control. Roger, what are you doing? Is that gasoline? Mm-hmm. Windex is just a Band-Aid. I realize that now. There's only one way to win the war on dirt in this house. What if I performed the surgery? What are you talking about? It's a highly specialized operation. You don't know how to do that. True, but, uh, I'm a fast learner. Roger, once again, great job on that surgery. Yeah, it was touch and go there for a while, but all's well that ends well. What's this one, Mom? That's right. Oh! Oh! oh. Her film made me look like a boring housewife who's only good at cleaning. Oh, that is an outrage. Thank you, Roger. You're a terrible cleaner. Look at this place. It's filthy. <laughs> yeah, that's a big, dirty S for schmutz. I'm still paying off that ab lounge you never used once. Hey, that was false advertising. If they call it a lounge, it should come with martinis and guys in ironic trucker hats, like on the OC, which I'm missing because I have no TV. <laughs> Heaven's gonna get two new angels. This is in case you get hungry on the way up. <laughs> oh! You snuck up on me, cutie pie. Say, you're just about the right size to fill that hole in my heart. Oh, you like Francine's muffins? There's more where that came from. You're gonna come live with me. I will call you Felicity. You're cutting into my business. Oh, come on. I bet if you let me inside your hard shell, I'd find a lump of soft meat. <laughs> that came out wrong. Let's talk this out. Ah, oh. yep. Why does there everyone is. hate the juice? Yep. Oh, is. and Francine, FYI, cheese nips are not the same as cheese its. I have a list if you're not going to follow it. Oh, Ernest and Julio Gallo, you make a glorious wine and a handsome couple. Jim is close. My Tanga radar is going crazy. Not to mention my Patronar. Get it? Like sonar. Steve, this is me sober. Why would I wear a sailor suit to meet my real parents? You were kidnapped at a boat show. Your parents have a boat. They're rich. You want them to recognize you or not? You're right. You're right. Don't forget this curly blonde wig. Why would I wear a wig? You're Norwegian. Right, right. I'm not in this one either. How can this be? Look at little Stevesy sleep. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> and you'll be glad to know that a portion of your purchase goes to help foster children in the greater Lang. Uh, you lost me at help. Now to plant my vineyard. Uh, uh, uh. Homie, weak as Explain shit. Explain these foster thingies. Foster children? You know, wayward children taken in by families. When you say wayward, I hear eager. And when you say children, I hear migrant workers. Isn't this fun? I want our relationship to be totally Gilmore. So, any cute boys in your life? I was just asking. You don't have to bite my head off. Teenagers. Drama! I'm assuming this is gonna go well, so I got us hot wings. There's $10,000 in this briefcase. <gasps> We're buying that hotel! Oh, Staniel! Get off me! The money's for you to get a new start somewhere. You're paying me to go away? You bastard! 
You pushed me into this. I told you it would ruin our friendship, but you said, no, let's go, do it to me. So I gave myself to you. Why the hell can't you just let this go? Because you were my first. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Why is that legitimately sad to me? I couldn't even do that to a female, yo, real talk. Like, if I smashed a female and found out I was her first, I couldn't leave her unless she acted like an idiot, in which case I would leave her very quickly. As long as she was, you know, did what I told her, as long as she acted the way I wanted her to act, I wouldn't leave her. Right, foster children. Hard work builds character. Water break, boss? Oh, honey, don't call me boss. That makes me feel like some kind of monster. Call me dad. Water break, dad? No. Listen, you girls like studying different cultures, right? Uh-huh. Well, we're a culture, a gender and ethnic exclusionary hierarchy. Maybe you should study us, say, tomorrow night at the house. That sounds fair. He makes a good point. I'll tell the Eskimos. Wait, don't go! That little creep is living the star lifestyle I deserve. Well, he's gonna learn that he's messing with the wrong muchacho. Ow, ow, stub my toe, stub my toe, stub my toe, stub my toe, stub my toe. Worst part's over, worst part's over, worst part's over. Oh, God, this bust of Ben Stiller is hideous. Who used all my cream rinse? Ah! Ah! What the hell are you? Yeah, can someone tell Snake Plissken here to back off? Sold! <laughs> I don't know where you're taking me, but God help you if there's no schnapps. Oh. Look at its magnificent size. I'm completely off my ass, and I'm barely down to the label. Ooh. Oh, that explains the total neglect and the increased tissue consumption. Kind of a downer that Steve caught him red-handed, though. What? Hey, that's why they invented therapy. Is this your first? Mine, too. I was hoping to be a little more financially stable, but you can't put off having sea monkeys forever. Oh, my God, my babies, they're alive! <laughs> oh, it's true what they say. The love is instantaneous and unconditional. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Champagne for everyone. None for you, Romeo and Anastasia. Okay, just don't tell your mother. What? No! Oh! <laughs> yep, that's what happens. Yep. That's what happens. Yep. Hey, son, why don't you go inside and get some eggnog? Oh, really? Thank you. Just half a cup, though. I'm not that thirsty. Ow, ow, ew, ew. Look at this. Eight years of dead bugs. You disgust me. Now hold the ladder. I want to come down. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. And one, two... Hey, this area is for vineyard personnel only. We're from Child Protective Services. We received a phone call that the children under your care are being forced to work as your slaves. Why, that's absurd. These children are merely playing Happy Fun Vineyard from Milton Bradley. I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now. If you want to have a good time. I have no deal, friend, because I know you soak not me, but rather all those who have ever hurt you. He is musty! That's so true. That's so raven? We can at least take solace in the fact that there was nothing we could have done to prevent that. Hey, I'm the man of the house now. I'll help you. What's she like? Um, well, she's a cheerleader. Got it. Ra-Ra's like hunky jocks, right? Just do some push-ups. She'll be all over you, tiger. Great idea, Roger. Down low. Too slow. <laughs> <laughs> Poor kid. Never really had a father. Uh-uh. Mm. Not till you buy me a new TV. I will never buy you a TV. Fine, then you can walk home. <laughs> you idiot! Cops already? What, are we next door to a freaking Krispy Kreme? You're Au revoir, stardom. Ah! Oh, did I tie that to Steve's ankle? Guess I'm clumsy like he wrote in the book. How do you like that ending, Steve? 
Roger the clumsy alien. Roger who sips his silly juice and goes on delusional rants. And it's not silly juice, it's necessary juice. I need a drink. Where's the booze? There is no booze. Saudi Arabia is a dry country. Seriously, where's the booze? Roger, do you have a boy crush on my grandfather? No, of course not. Why, did he say something about me? Okay, beast with two backs. Now. Oh, that's what all the fuss is about? Oh, yeah, okay, no problem. I'm never gonna be a star. People are never gonna see me in Us Weekly and say, Ooh, Roger, picks up a vase just like us. Oh, Roger drops expensive vases just like us. Oh, Roger's, Roger starts to black out just like... Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, blame just the like alien. Us. The cops will eat that up. Sorry, pal, you're going to jail where they're gonna take your cherry. Jello. Away. In the lunch line. After you're raped. In the shower. <laughs> ah! Lady Barkingston's bacon-flavored dog scones? Shit! Yeah, that was a genuine laugh, too. Damn! Oh, oh. The gypsy was right. This is how it ends. Fraternities. Bunch of lazy, immature guys getting drunk on every kind of liquor known to man. I mean... Hi, can you please help me? I'm not drunk. I had no idea. I wanted a buddy, but now I never want to see you again. <sighs> you were supposed to come after me! What? You crazy psycho bitch, leave me alone! This conversation isn't over! Yes, it is! Try to get rid of me? I'll kill us both! What the hell was that? Uh, I'm not hurt. It's a miracle! I think you're still on top of it. Back up. <gasps> oh my god, is it here? You're so adorable. Give me silly juice and watch me fall down. What the? I'm ugly and my butt is huge. I, I, I don't... I don't get it. Watch your back. Ouch! Oh, oh. Uh, ouchies! Ouchies! Ouch! Yeah, the kid's a total douche. And his voice. I'm Steve Smith. I wrote Roger the Alien. <laughs> I'm Steve Smith. I was never molested on the set of a mustard commercial when I was nine. Die, dream stealer. <laughs> oh. oh my God, I, I killed Steve. <laughs> Oh, what happened to him? He got full body herpes. Ooh. Oh, God, I forgot. That's where you humans keep your boys. Wow, this is so not how I pictured my first time. That sucks. Why wasn't I in any of those old family videos? Well, that's because all the footage was taken before you were adopted. What? What are you talking about? I'm not adopted. No, no, of course not. That'd be silly. You look just like your dad. Good night. Oh. Listen up, Haley. There's nothing wrong with a good time. Try talking to one of the bros. You might enjoy it. Never! You hear me? Never! Well, that's a shame, because fraternities really do represent virtue, charity, and brotherly love. Masculine females. Ugh. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be playing foosball in the rape room. For this list, we're looking at the most despicable deeds the Smith family's resident alien has committed. Whether he was under the influence of a persona or just being his usual mischievous self. Or drugs. Ah, uh, I never think things through. Number 10. Injuring students to win a talent show. It's weird how so many Roger-centric episodes quickly escalate into horror territory. To help Steve win a talent show, Roger poses as his ventriloquist what dummy, Mr. Dingleberry. Wow, you move just like a dummy. Now, Steve, why do you think I slapped you? It's because you used a certain word. Do you know what that word is? Is it? That's right. Roger soon gets too deep into character, staging a series of freak accidents to take out the competition. While that singer is especially rude, he did not deserve to have a weight dropped on his larynx. And Barry definitely did not deserve to be locked in a sauna. Oh. Dingleberry even framed his former ventriloquist for murder, 
Wow. I really should have looked further into this book before I started this whole thing. But when he traps Snot in an escape tank, Steve saves the day and snaps Roger out of it by washing off his makeup. Although he does get shot in the process. Oh my god, somebody shot Steve! Oh my god, I shot Steve! Number 9. Convincing a woman to take her own life Being the most unstable character on the show, it's baffling that the family constantly seeks out Roger's psychiatrist persona, Mr. Penguin, for guidance. Wow, wow, well, stab, 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 stab! Roger Smith, pretend psychiatrist. Sounds like you could use my help. When Francine's friend Julie learns that Stan killed her husband, Mr. Penguin is tasked with trying to calm the hysterical widow down. Rather than talking Julie off a ledge, though, he encourages her to jump. Fortunately, Stan and Francine rush in before the noose around Julie's neck can take its toll. Worse still, Julie's husband is still alive and Roger knew it. Your husband's not dead. What? Craig is alive? This was all part of a complicated plan to get Francine to stop nagging Stan about sharing, but there was absolutely no reason for Roger to sit back and let Julie hang herself. And it worked brilliantly. Ah! Oh. Number 8. Trying to get rid of AJ On top of babysitting Bullock's son AJ, Francine also had to deal with an envious Roger, who can't fathom the idea of anyone else receiving more attention than him. Look, I don't have time for you right now, I'm busy. Ah! Busy? I was here first! Still, Roger grows fond of little AJ. So much so that after the Bullocks take their baby home, Roger kidnaps him. I'm sick of taking care of this! AJ? Where's AJ? Nevertheless, it appears that Roger wants to be a good big brother to AJ. Until he damages his favorite crystal spider. Since babies shouldn't be in reach of breakables anyway, this is really Roger's fault. Roger doesn't see things that way, however, feeling it necessary to drive AJ into a lake. While Roger's plan is thwarted by Stan, he was still going to drown a baby over virtually nothing. Shut up! This whole situation is out of control! Number 7. His Revenge on the Smith Family What? For his birthday, Roger tells the family he wants a Comedy Central-style roast. Roger insists that they hold nothing back, and he seemingly takes their brutal insults in stride. Behind his sunglasses, though, Roger is drowning in his own tears. Why? Why would you do this? What? What did I ever do to any of you to make you say those incredibly hurtful things? Words can hurt. Told but us to say exactly it. what he asked for. Regardless, Roger not only scorns the family for being so mean, he also plots to destroy all of them. You know, Roger sure did leave in a hurry. You you don't think Roger had something to do with the explosion? Following an explosion, a shootout, and a car accident, the Smiths retreat to space where Roger hunts them down in a surprisingly creepy sequence. In spite of everything, the Smiths ensure Roger that just because they made fun of him doesn't mean he isn't loved. Um, is that a touching ending? <laughs> oh my god! I am a part of this family! You do love me! I feel it now! Number 6. Framing Kevin Bacon for a Hit and Run Dressed as Kevin Bacon, Roger abuses his newfound fame to get free stuff and treat people like garbage. I'm gonna wear these out. Great. I'll ring those up for you. Jump back! Do you know who I am, clerk face? Suddenly, Roger ditches the bacon nose, apologizing to Stephen Haley for being such a jerk. Could it be that Roger actually saw the light and took a step back before going too far? And the worst part is, it almost cost me my friends. Hugs! Of course not. Seconds later, it's revealed that Roger, while impersonating Bacon, ran over an elderly man with a car and drove off, but not before shooting a traffic cam. Although the evidence shows that he physically could not have done it, the real Bacon is arrested for Roger's crime. Being responsible for a likely fatal hit and run and sending an innocent man to jail doesn't phase Roger even remotely. Roger? I'm gonna turn this cheese sandwich into a panini. Yes. Delizioso. Number 5. Ugh. Selling a girl when he couldn't pay for drugs hey, As no, Stan tries to get on a senator's good side, Roger, standing in for Steve, strikes up a friendship with the politician's daughter. Don't be late for class, you two. So, Cookie, do you like ponies? Unfortunately, the one thing that they have in common is an addiction to drugs. Feeding into a 15-year-old girl's cocaine problem is already beyond irresponsible, but Roger outdoes himself when he sells her to hostile drug dealers. You know how you said try to be friends with the senator's daughter? Yeah. Well, it began like that, and then middle, 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 and then I sold her to a drug dealer. The end. Sure, they were threatening to shoot Roger in the head if he didn't pay up, but throwing an underage girl under the bus is still reprehensible, especially considering he only owed 300 bucks. 
On the plus side, the dealers did sweeten the deal by referring Roger to a good plumber. But we'd hardly call that a fair trade. JKM Plumbing's coming on Tuesday. So we can put the wooden spoon back in the kitchen. No more having to chop up our dumps. Number four, kidnapping Haley and abusing Jeff. Roger's little crush on Haley soon spirals into a sick obsession. These feelings are too intense. This has to stop. When shooting Haley doesn't change the way he feels, Roger does the next most logical thing. He kidnaps her and plans to skin her, a la Buffalo Bill. Help! Oh, I'm gonna go get my tools! Right after I do a flip! No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm actually gonna get off the bed really carefully. At the last minute, Roger decides that Jeff will be his victim instead. This is the skin for me! Ah! Roger can immediately tell that this isn't working, and in a heartbeat gets over Haley. Although Roger reattaches his skin, Jeff's anguish is far from over. In a later episode, Roger gets Jeff abducted by aliens, separating him from Haley for a couple of seasons. It's eventually revealed that Jeff died in space, although they are able to put his brain in a new body. Number 3. Running over patrons for not paying In Kill Bill, the heroine targets five assassins responsible for a massacre that ruined her life. Roger's story is a bit like that, except his motivation for running down five frat guys isn't quite as relatable. After giving them a lift in his limo, they refuse to pay the $20 fee. I can't believe it! I treated them with nothing but respect and civility and they want to stiff me? Roger believes the only way to settle the score is to make them pay with their lives. Oh! One down, four to go. You're really gonna kill five people over $20? Are you really asking that to the guy who just last week killed six people over $19? Sure, the guys were unapologetically obnoxious, and running out on the bill would upset anyone. Painting the road red with their blood, however, feels just a tad extreme. What's more, Roger somehow runs over the final victim on a plane, oh! and in due course, causes all the passengers to perish. What's Roger, happened? you got your revenge. Can we go home now? Ah! Roger! I'm sorry, I got the blood loss. <gasps> Number two, everything Ricky Spanish did. Of all the alter egos in Roger's repertoire, none has committed as many atrocities as Ricky Spanish. There's hardly a person in this town who he hasn't stolen from, cheated, or worse. Everyone hates Ricky Spanish. Ricky Spanish. God, Jeez, where do we even begin? Well, he kicked an old lady below the belt, looked up a nun's habit with a camera, defecated inside a patient mid-surgery, and those are just some of his more minor offenses. It's me, Rick. <laughs> Damn you, Ricky Spanish! Among Ricky's worst crimes were abandoning Brian Lewis in Tijuana with no way to get home and taking out Bullock's wife with a katana through the heart. On her birthday, no less. Oh, yes, I seem to recall something like that. So, you're not mad at me? Steve makes the colossal mistake of trying to redeem Ricky, who returns the favor by letting him take the fall, literally, for a sweater heist that he orchestrated with his partner Daniel. I knew you changed! I knew you- Ah! What? So, this was actually what? suggested to me by Darian Clark in the comments for what? the video the top 10 worst things Bender has ever done. Yeah! So thank you to everyone who upvoted that. But can you believe that Ricky Spanish is only number two? I cannot wait to see what we've got at the top of this list. So let's look through the honorable or dishonorable mentions, and then we'll find out the worst thing Roger Smith has ever done on American Dad. This is... Wonderful, best tiramisu I've ever had. <sighs> Maybe too much rum. I think we need to take another look at the evidence. Uh, officer, I can explain. No, I can explain. I'm taking a cut of everything that comes through here. These are my ducks now. Oh, this cup is irresponsibly hot. Oh, my face! Oh! <laughs> Exactly. Sorry, officer, but everything's fine here. Everything's not fine! He broke up with me! He won't sleep with me anymore! Who's he? He's my father and my lover! But I'm a fish! A sick fish who's going away for a long time. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings, the end of the world, notifications. Number one, causing the end of the world. 200 Rogers? 200 me's? I don't understand. Oh, right, I remember. How do you top Ricky Spanish's laundry list of unspeakable deeds? Well, 
Being responsible for the end of the world will do it. On a field trip to Langley Quantum Labs, Roger gets inside a Hadron Collider. An interrupted experiment results in an energy burst that releases 200 of Roger's personas, turns Langley Falls into a wasteland, and shuts down power worldwide. I feel like I'm gonna fart. <laughs> Come on, man, just a little wind. Granted, Roger didn't mean to doom modern civilization as we know it, but his incompetence nonetheless caused mass destruction and death across the entire planet. Unlike most American Dad episodes, everything doesn't just go back to normal in the end. So if this post-apocalyptic future is canon, Roger really goofed up like never before. I apologize, everyone. I'm the one who ended the world. Save these babies, though. Ah, oh, damn it, there's a crack in them. Just to spice it up a little bit for y'all, we gonna check out the best of Roger's season four, because the last one was just shocking and scary and horrifying. Fine. There was no laughter to be had on that one. But I'm not gonna be branded a liar again. Mark my words, this time, I will be avenged! Please call me when dinner is ready! So, down the gauntlet has been laid. Lane? Laid. Delivery for the Phantom of the Telethon! Oh my god, my pipe organ, yay! This is what I'm supposed to play maniacally down in the catacombs? Oh, what'd you think you were getting for $39.95? No, no, this is totally unacceptable. Ah. Hey! Yeah, I can work with this. What the hell? Do not fear me, fair maiden. Though my outward appearance may repulse thee, I assure you my intentions are most pure. What are you doing? The Phantom welcomes you to his home. Jeez, it stinks in here. Why am I in a dress? I'll thank you to hold your criticism, my darling. Ah, the hell with this. Steve, Steve, come back here. I am trying to do something! <laughs> But it doesn't matter. I've already destroyed this telethon. And untied your bow tie. No! You've given me a relaxed demeanor! Oh! Oh my god, is that a bomb? You planted a bomb? What the hell are you talking about? That's enough C4 to blow up this entire building. Disarm it. Stan, it's not mine. All I did was change the teleprompter, cut the bear's brakes, release the terrorist, drop a fishing boat on Jeff Fisher. Wait, you released the terrorist? He's an explosives expert! We'll never be able to disarm it! Oh my god! Stan, I know exactly what to do! Put me down! Let's try that on the fart setting. I don't know, it's funnier, but I think it takes out some of the tension. The code is one, two, three, four, pound! The bomb is disarmed! That's what I'm gonna say when I disarm the bomb! Roger! The arm is disbombed! Damn it. Making a cake, ordering clowns, they love me! Yep, in my culture, 1600 is the most important birthday of all. And mine's shaping up Cut to be- Cut it Oh! <laughs> Behold, it is here! My first pube! Oh, it's red! Fire! Oh god, I'm gonna be sick. I finally hit puberty! <laughs> Honey, that's wonderful. I would have punched my child in the face. I can't let him think this is the thing to do. We're so happy for you! Yes, very happy. Now go ahead and pull up your pants. Oh, no chance! I gotta go brush and style this bad boy. I'm hideous! Honey, you can't even see it. Oh. It's pretty. Wow, Haley, your cheek's pregnant. Who's the father? Touching your face all day with your greasy hands? Damn! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> yep, there it is. There it do, there it is. That's how we do it. Serve Steve right. Stealing my thunder. Still, I can't believe everyone forgot my birthday. Not everyone. I hate Steve so much. He's probably a hick anyway. 
Look at this place. There is not a thing around. Yeah, yeah, the closest town to here is my ass. And that place is a hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a good back and forth, you and me. <laughs> I've had better. I, I can't tell you how much I hate it here, Stan. So much I, poop. I, I can't. It's not good luck anymore! Help! Help! Get Don't touch yourself. me! I'll figure out a way off this island. Hey, there is good news. I overcame my fear of seagulls. Oh. Roger, I think I figured out a way to get off the island. Is there such a thing as a time crab? Shh! You're scaring the gulls. I got a lasso enough to fly me home. I had the greatest woman in the world, and I let my insecurity ruin everything. Thirteen! That should do it! All right, seagulls, take me home! Yes! Yeah. Stan? Dinner? Oh, hello. Tying together rocks. Smart. Outside the box. Anyway, just wanted to apologize for all my whining. I realize now that it's been counterproductive. Oh, thanks, Roger. As you can see, I've fashioned a disguise out of seagull feathers for when we're rescued. I'm feeling optimistic. So Ira and I, this is Ira, we're going to collect some driftwood for a signal fire. Because we're optimistic. Ira and I. That's the spirit, Roger. Ira. I'm coming, Franny. I'm going to pick you up, hold ah! you in my arms. This is all your fault! We're going to die out here! It's your fault! You pushed me into this! Ah! Ah! Drown, spaceman! Drown! Shut up, Ira! So you float, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it appears so. Stroke! 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 You know, after this, I could rent myself out to Cubans. Those poor people. I'll take that money up front, don't you worry. Sing cow! At this rate, the beer's gonna come out at the same time as the spring rolls! I know there are no spring rolls. You're in a bit, and you're doing fine. I hate these chickens. Take that one the most. Roger, don't be like that. Why not? You've ruined everything! This was supposed to be our summer of exotic adventure! <laughs> oh, I am so looking forward to this week. Roger, why is your bag so light? Because you're not in it yet. You want me to get in your suitcase? Yeah, that's how we're gonna sneak you by the front desk. The radio station only gave me two passes. Roger! Are you kidding me? Then why did you invite both of us? Gee, I don't know, Haley. You think it might have something to do with me being drunk all the time? I'm an alcoholic. I have a problem. I'm just not ready to deal with it yet. But I will. I promise. No more empty promises, no, sir. Not from this alcoholic. Now hop in the suitcase and first round's on me. Are these balloons full of heroin? Those Ow! are not for you! Oh! Hi, Mr. Mustachos. And Mrs. Mustachos. Shit! I laughed. Ten push-ups. Damn it. Just the two of us. Right! Our two radio contest winners. Who's the big Nickelback fan? Guilty! Well, you're lucky. We normally charge 1800 bucks a head. And what if I gave you $1,800 and five cents? Why, I'd give you a nickel back. You knew where I was headed. I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we'd be fine. They won't catch us. Look, we have two wristbands, so two of us can be at the spa while the third one stays up here trying on Haley's clothes and laughing at himself in the mirror. I guess we could take turns. Of course, it'll be easy. Now get over here and help me finish this. Don't Portuguese out on me. I'm starting a new ethnic slur. Did it take? <laughs> yes? Thurlington, spot detective. I'm Mrs. Mustachos. That's quite a lot of food for just the two of you. Hmm. It's still warm. So, you're married. We yes. sure are. That's sweet. Kiss. Huh? I'm told it's not uncommon for married persons to kiss. So, kiss. Yo, get out of my room before I beat you up, bro. <gasps> Not in front of the detective. All right. Everything checks out here. For now. 
That was so close. I think he's on to us. Get in your suitcase and don't come out till you hear me say, I'm done, go clean up, you disgust me. Oh, my neck is killing me. Being trapped in this room is stressing me out. Look, Franny, I know you're hurting. I just want you to know I'm here for you and- yeah! Oh, my God. I think you fixed it. <laughs> Mom? I don't understand. It should have worked. I learned that move from a chiropractor in his van in the alley behind the 7-Eleven. Oh, boy, I think I raped a guy. There you go. This mud bath will make you feel better. I should get back before somebody comes and sees we only have two spa wristbands. Oh, crap! Well, well. Don't we look cozy? Uh-huh, yeah. Quite cozy. Think I'll join you. Oh, forgot my locker key. Oh, found it. It's bungeed to my wrist. Oh, forgot my water bottle. <gasps> Roger, she's suffocating. You want to pay the 1800 bucks if Turlington finds her? Big breath, sweetie. But... <sighs> there we go. I guess I misjudged you folks. I thought you were trying to hide something. Us? Oh, that's so silly. Ow! She bit me! What? <gasps> you were gonna let me die for $1,800? No. Yes. No. There's three of you. Fine, you got us. We're busted. Well, we might be able to work something out if you're willing to do something for me. You girls head up to the room. I don't want you to have to say this. What? Won't be necessary. Ow. Oh. Tell me, did you sail across the sun? Did you make it to the Milky Way to see the lights are faded and that heaven is... Mother! What are those? My Rod Stewart albums! Lose them! Choke on my Rod! We've all done weird stuff when Francine was out of town, but don't call it a robot and don't... Welcome back. You were dead for a couple of seconds. I was dead? Yeah, we called your wife. She's on her way. Sounds hot. Okay, it looks like a left on Reservoir Lane. Never even heard of it. Let me see. Roger, this is a poster of Bo Derek. I know. Have you ever seen cheekbones? So look out! <laughs> I think we're safe. Quick thinking back there, Roger. Roger? Oh. Roger might be trying to kill us. And we have no brakes. Let's go get that money, people. Yeah! I'm on my way. Close your eyes, Steve. I don't want you to see me drive like this. It's my life and my dream. Nothing's gonna stop me now. Jeff, prepare to understand your first insult. And sin. Ooh. Ah! Oh, look, there's a Klaus. Uh oh. Ah! Best wish ever. Oh, my calves are getting tired. My calves. Yep. Ooh. Okay, I'm not going to die. Some from the back, and don't forget the rack. That's what you get. Damn it! And seeing the value of a good, well thought out. The driver has now been identified as Jack Smith. <laughs> <laughs>
former jewel thief, bus driver, and seasonal evil spirit of Christmas. Oh, here we go! Ooh. Ooh. Worried about Roger, hon. I know what'll cheer him up. One of my patented funny faces. Stay watch the road! My eyes are stuck! <laughs> Dad! Roger! Roger, get out of there! Another semen truck? What's going on in this town? Are we on a shipping route? Son, I'm just going to the store to get some cigarettes. That's what they all say. Never fall for that, men. No, your son needs you. End the cycle. And you got the boot off Principal Lewis's car. So you've done a lot of good. Smith, meet me in the computer lab. <laughs> Goodbye, bad credit. Oh my God! I don't believe it! Roger's love is keeping us aloft! We're gonna make it! So long, junk mail! Wait, when what? did he become white? How did he. Oh my god! Fireball! Punch it, punch it, punch it! Yeah, yeah! Nah. Punch it! No! You said punch it! The last one I switched it to meet break! Punch the brain! Well, time for plan B. Why did I agree to plan B? <laughs> it's working! I love your outfit. I have to have you. This is more like it. So, straight to your place? Uh, going a little fast for the turn, aren't you? What the Hey, Looney Birds, you like nuts so much, how about you f*** on these? Do you even have nuts? How dare you! If you're going to earn the family's trust back, you're going to have to show them you can focus while you're driving. Hey, look! A sign! He's still allowed to adopt? <laughs> Roger, goddammit, watch the road! I can laugh and watch the... <gasps> Whee! A little vapor. Bo rub will soothe me. Paper rub. <sighs> I am very hurt. I've had women do that to me. <laughs> kind of hurts to laugh a little bit. We have to stop this. Bruce? Bruce. Hello, I am David. I am new to the neighborhood. You've struck my garage, and I feel as though we are not going to get along. I'll do whatever you say. Take off your clothes. <laughs> do it! Yeah, run the butt cheeks. <laughs> run it! Trey Jolie, Coco. Trey Jolie. You're gonna learn now today. take your thumb and put it in your mouth like a little schoolgirl. Yeah, yeah. Damn it, Roger, we don't have time for that. Time for that, just take them off already. Fine. God, why do you hate movies? I'm praying to you. I can't die. I can't die out here in the woods. What the hell are you talking about? It's from my favorite movie, Miller's Crossing. Bravo, Joel and Ethan Cohen. I mean, there are some proud parents, huh? Some nachas for the Coens. <sighs> We are positioned directly across the street from Clooney's Hotel. 
Are they building George a Clooney. basketball court in his hotel room? Clooney has it written into all of his movie contracts. What do the Cohen brothers see in him? Damn. You see us as you want to see us. In the simplest terms, the most convenient definitions. But what we found out is that each one of us is a brain, and an athlete, and a basket case, a princess, and a criminal. Does that answer your question? Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. Don't. <coughs> I feel funny. <coughs> it must be the smoke inhalation. <coughs> it's killing my eyes. Why is he just like Doug the Body Hunter? Ah, oh, you know what I meant to ask you? How did we get out of there? I, I think we did some sweet maneuvers from that movie Backdraft. I never saw Backdraft. Me either. But my dad's not gay. Yes, he is. That's why he can't accept you, because he can't accept himself. Ah! Like Kevin Spacey. In k -Pax. Damn! Get up, buddy. Let's hit the beach. No. I, I mean, let's take the day to settle in. Maybe watch a movie. Nope, I'm going to the beach. Sometimes I wonder. Oh, come on, Stan. You really think this is going to keep me from leaving? Who I am? Do I fit in? Movie I've seen probably 250. Make believe in. It's hard alone. I mean, it's such a beautiful Boom! day outside. Out here on Boom! my own. Boo! Set the fuck up! Play the good shit! Yeah, I suppose heroes are just normal people who... <laughs> Roger, what did you do that for? You already have the medal. I don't know. They did it in the movie. Oh! I mean, if we're gonna go what for movie? it, let's go for it. Oh! Oh my God, we've been robbed! Come on out, you thieving bastards! Dad! Haley, you were elected family gun shield at the last family meeting. You're also in charge of the Netflix queue. Just know this: I never don't want to have kindergarten cop. I got a spot where no one's gonna find you. Won't hear when I make you squeal like a pig, neither. What? Nothing. Deliverance joke. Oh, poor Ned Beatty. He can, he can play Rudy's dad all he wants, but when we look at him, all we see is him getting rammed in the woods. Ms. Blanche, back for another concrete convention. It's been ten years and three more Gary Marshall movies. Well, after pizza, we'll retire to my treehouse, watch an 80s crab fest, say Critters or Critters 2. But you don't have to be brave, you just have to look brave for your dad. That's the beauty of movies. I snip out the part where you were a raging Nancy sissy and edit it to make you out to be the hero. You can do that? Uh, yeah, Steve. I'm a professional film editor. I can do anything. Let's Tyler roll. Perry's movies are actually quite good before I get my hands on them. Your name is Sven Norkvist. Here, put this wig on. I always wanted blonde hair. Do I look like Rolf from The Sound of Music? Yeah, I, I don't know, kid. I think they'll go all the way to 17. 17? Ocean 17? Look, as long as that gang likes hanging out together, they're gonna keep making those pictures. I notice you call movies pictures. I do. I do do that. I'm so excited to share Dust Bowl with you. This is the greatest German movie of all time. If you don't count the Hindenburg footage. What's Hindenburg and footage? wish activate. Captain you know, Black Sparrow. not be that easy. This might be one of those dealios where you gotta learn a lesson before things go back to normal. What the hell does that mean? Like in the movies. You've seen It's a Wonderful Life, right? Nope. How about Big? Uh-uh. You saw Ted? No. Really? Look, sometimes in a movie, a person thinks they want something, but then... Oh, like in the Care Bears Big Wish movie. Okay, I learned my damn lesson. Lewis has my shit and I want it back. Not sure you have. You're calling your family shit. Luckily, I know an easy way to make that happen. I've been trying to think of a way all day. Surely it can't be that easy. As a matter of fact, it is. And please stop calling me Shirley. <laughs> how, how great is the movie Airplane? <laughs> so great. <laughs> <laughs> the I pilot this has an unnatural plane. interest in that little boy. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't seem unnatural to me. <laughs> oh. Brian takes a hard left, sending him flying up a ramp. In slow no, Don no, looks up as Brian's no, upside down no, car sails no, no, over no, no, his no. own. It's no, super sick. No, man. Brian looks back down at no. Don. 
their heads no. inches from no, each no, other. No, no, no. They crane no. their necks to see no. an upside down kiss. It's making my tooth tongue ache worse. Floors Brian's ah. mouth. What the? F Are you sure you read that right? Maybe it's a typo. Uh, I'll just flip ahead. Here we go. Zesty motherfuckers. Interior, garage night. Dom stands behind a bent over Brian and Tokyo drifts into his... Oh, that, okay, that scene goes on for like 10 more pages. Dudes, this script is full of extremely graphic gay sex scenes. Yo, how much is psycho does it? It sure has, Toshi, my friend. Hey, I understand Tosh. <laughs> Who doesn't like Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh, cool. Everybody ah, likes Pirates of the Caribbean. the death of the, the drive-in. Harbinger of the slow demise of American cinema. The grand images, the big stars. Where did they go? Now everyone just sits at home. Now it's all TV, TV, TV. Wait a second. I have a TV! How could I forget you, my good time gal? Who needs the damn movies? Fifteen bucks to see who's chasing Ashley Judd through the woods? Movies are dead. The air marshal. Now where is she? Oh, um, she's in the lavatory. Oh, okay. What are you talking about? I was just at the lavatories. There's nobody back there. So you don't know where Caitlin is? Of course we do. She's, uh, uh... Oh my god, she doesn't know! She lost our daughter! Roger, cut it out! Uh, what's going on here? Where is she? Where is my little angel? Hold me back, like Sean Penn in Mystic River. Is that my daughter in there? No, no, hold them back. Is that my daughter? No, hold them. Is that my... You are worthless. You feel that pressure on the back of your neck, Dad? That's the thumb of the man pressing down on you. I'm still the man. I'm gonna have that hydrant removed next Monday at the Homeowners Association meeting. Hey! Yes, the man gets the biggest piece. And you... You'll have this little piece. And while you're serving me, how about a little dollop of horseradish on the side? This is my horseradish! All of it. That's what happens. Yep. Well, you win this round. I'm gonna go to my room and listen to cilantro albums. Why is the alien dressed like a car salesman who's also a firefighter? El perro, el perro, es mi corazón. Uh, and Mexican. Okay, but racing's not easy. Not everyone has what I have with Flea Biscuit. We got a special bond, don't we, boy? Hmm. Yeah, well, I've got a special bond with my dog, too. Whoa, Ryan. Oh, yeah, you're such a good boy, aren't you, Flea Biscuit? Good boy. Oh, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, yes, and you have a super active tongue. Oh, my. Okay, so we're gonna head home. Uh, let's get to work. Ugh, fine. But why does your mouth taste like beets? It's 9 a.m. Are you an early morning beet eater? That's insane. You're insane. But I'm insane, too. Insane for that big beet flavor. You can trust me. So this is what you had to do instead of spending tree lighting day with your family? Oh, hey, Stan. Look, I'm sorry, but I got to move a lot of cream to make my year-end quota. But don't worry, I'll get there. It's as simple as A, B, C, T, T, C, A, T, E, T, H, R. Always be constantly touching the customer and tell everyone they have rosacea. Matter of fact, have you ever thought about trying to address your skin condition? What skin condition? May I place my hand like this underneath your armpit? Our cream is fast working and totally natural. You could eat it if you wanted to. I'm munching on the stuff all day myself. So how many jars can I put you down for, you crimson-faced monster? <laughs> Stop! Stop! Can't you see this man needs top dollar skin care? Don't worry, this borage oil scrub both exfoliates and rejuvenates. A lot of your skin is just coming right off. Okay, Deganya, this might be your toughest sale ever. What? If Stan, what the hell is happening? Damn. In a word, rosacea. It is a red tide on your face, my friend. One minute ago, I was on the couch. And then... Now, your girlfriend must complain to you about your rough, bumpy skin, yes? When she's close like this? You can make right what once went wrong. I'm being given a chance to save my family. You're being given a chance to save your nasty-ass skin with our jojoba-infused mud mask. Hot chocolate, popcorn, 
Santa's workshop. <gasps> what I the hell? This. I got this. May I place my hand underneath your armpit? <laughs> I just had my colors done, and Lydia tells me I'm an autumn. Roger, I've been standing with you here the whole time. You haven't talked to anybody, and you're putting lipstick on your eyelids. You're just jealous. You know, if you fixed yourself up a little, men would find you attractive, too. Instead of wondering if you're in the middle of gender reassignment surgery. Right I'm on. I'm on fire! <laughs> Whoops. Nip slip. Ha <laughs> 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 <Dirty motherfucker. laughs> Is this your friend? Yeah. Lindsay, this is Roger. Nice to meet you. Charmed. And this is Jewel. Your date. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I'm out. I'm out. Uh, hey, we had a deal. Steve, she's so ugly. So ugly. Too bad. Wow. You had a boyfriend? Oh, you, ha uh, you have a little thing. Oh, Roger, stop it. I don't have a hard time looking at you. At me? I can see past your hydrocephalic head and into your beautiful mind. You're like Russell Crowe and I'm Jennifer Connelly. Yeah, yeah, you're Jennifer Connelly. No. Uncomfortable. No. I like you to take things slow. Whatever you want to me. Oh, so I can crate you and hide you in that warehouse at the end of Raiders? So funny. Kiss me, funny boy. I know, I know. Bad for the ozone. Don't be like that. You're not a loser. Think how pretty you make people look by contrast. That's yeah! Left. Yeah! Mm. Oh my god, you're an alien! Oh my god, Lindsay! Lindsay! Roger is an alien! Roger! She was all over me and my rig fell off and we'd be in big trouble! <laughs> oh god. They're doing everything we used to do together. These should have been my good times. I've seen enough. Drive me home, David. Yup, that is. I live right up here on the left. <laughs> ah! Shit, that made me laugh. Damn. Not bad for a La Quinta. A sign-in table. Nice touch, Roger. Hello, Chex. I see you didn't bring your barber this time. I guess you'll never ask me to be your plus one! <laughs> You're fat, Helen! You guys <laughs> thought I tried to kill you? Hilarious! <laughs> oh, it's, it's so therapeutic to laugh. Hey, does anyone have the exact time? 804. Thank you, my love. Ow, ow. Oh, my running regimen is killing my lower back. Oh, I gotta lie down. <laughs> You guys, yeah. up now. It's definitely over. Yo! He ain't shit. Klaus, where are you? <laughs> Klaus? Klaus, it's stuck. Get away! It's a trap. He's here. Steve, behind you. Stim, what's happening? Not much. What's happening with you? What is that? Is that Ace of Base? Roger! He's here! He's gonna kill us all! I don't know what song that is, but it sounds like something a psychopath will kill you to. <gasps> Stim's still out there! We have to find him and get off this space station! Let's split up! Whoever finds him, radio the others, and we'll meet up at the escape pod. I hope we don't get copyrighted for that music. as fast as I can! Ah! It's 
gonna be okay, Francine. I made it to the escape pod. I'm safe. What? Man, hurry! We're Whoa. almost on the ground! Ah! Ah! Oh, God! What type of shit? Well, I did all I could. Whoa! Fresh panties for the ride home! Ow! What, too broad or not broad enough? Because I've got some incredibly racist buck teeth in my pocket. You won't like yourself, but you'll laugh. I promised my Mr. Belvedere chat group I'd post a summary of this episode by six. Those losers are pretty punctual. You see us as you want to see us. In the simplest terms, it's... Oh my God, what is this and how can I replace my blood with it? Roger, wake up. I need you. Okay, here we go. I knew it was only a matter of time. No, what the hell is- You ignorant cretins, I'm more than just a clown! Ha! I thought that was Hollywood make-believe, like children of every color being at the same McDonald's. Don't judge me, fatty! <laughs> My god, I'm ruined. Ruined! Dolly Parton's theme park! The rides give you the same experience as looking at her. Fun from far away, but really scary up close. Whew, I'm thirsty from rocking it so hard. Who wants a Smirnoff ice and some bootleg Ukrainian porn? But life goes on. Well, that didn't solve anything. Guess I'll just go out and get hammered. <sighs> okay, your turn. Come on already! J-date, huh? Klaus, these girls don't look that desperate. Kick on over 35 and never married. I'm going to turn this cheese sandwich into a panini. Yes. Delizioso. I have to pee now. Whenever I get tied up, I have to pee. I'll try and hold it, but I I'm going now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nice. Huh? <gasps> Madam, please uncover yourself. Does anyone have more areola pink? I only have one tube. Focused right now. Lavate las manos. Lavate las manos. Lavate las manos. You want some too? I got plenty for everybody. In the meantime, I'm gonna crack my first case. Inside are the most pathetic people in the city with nothing to live for. It's like Applebee's with a bar. Oh wait, Applebee's has a bar. It's like Applebee's. I shall not be denied my vengeance! <laughs> huh. Don't know why we didn't think of that nine months ago. I'm bored. I'm gonna speed up this sweater and pretend I'm in a dance club. G -g -g God rest ye merry gentlemen, I'm going to blow your mi- 
or e e e e a a a ping ping bong bong ping 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 bong bong. Dance for me. Terrible DJ. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's enough. I've got what I need. You are terrible. You've got no rhythm, no coordination. I've I've seen two epileptics share a bowl of noodles with more grace. <laughs> Manny, Petty, Sex Pun, I'm gonna need you guys to go give our guests their spa treatments. Oh, you can throw a knife, but you know what you can't throw? A party for my birthday, which was Wednesday. <laughs> I remembered yours. I told you it was complicated. No, no, no. Changing planes at O'Hare is complicated. This is, this is just... Franny, what is this? Look at this thing. Looks like a woman's baby cannon. I know we're in the middle of a show, but that was American Dad's 1,000th vagina joke. I can't believe we really did it. I mean, we're in Europe. Nine hours ago, we were in America. I just think we'll be better off. Oh, no, I get it. I get it. Uh, come on. Oh. 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 Exactly. I no no one wants that. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have farted before I started that walk. Wow! <laughs> Do not go on the beach volleyball court. You hit that thing with a black light, it's gonna glow like a bedspread at Harrods. I'm writing down a number. I will not accept a penny less. A million dollars? Actually, if you look closely, it says a million doll hairs. No, it doesn't. Oh well, it was, it was supposed to. Family photo! In three, two... Oh. Roger, I think we need some time. Yes. Yes, of course, I understand. Without you? Yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you've hurt us and we can't see you right now! Ah! Ow, my foot! I'm bleeding! Get stopped. Hi. You can't have both. It's either us or them. Ah, oh, don't make me choose. I'm horrible at choosing. Choose. No, don't make me. You must. No, no. Them. <gasps> huh, I'm better at choosing than I thought. You were his emergency contact. We didn't know what else to do. What happened to him? Well, take a look at this security video. He arrives with this family at 9 a.m. Churros, elephant ears, the whole nine yards. By 11 a.m., he was in line for the flume, which he rode 16 times, all with different families. Uh, two hours later, he's puss in boots with yet another family, eating a caramel apple, watching an animatronic bear play the fiddle. As the day progressed, he was with nine more families in nine more outfits, the rights to which I doubt he owns. Uh, until we found him like this, gurgling, slumped over a teacup, and urinating on a pinwheel. I went on a family bender. I have a problem. <laughs> Help me. You hurt me. You hurt me bad. You made it impossible for me to have healthy relationships with other families. I need to know. Why did you leave me like that? You rented a room from us and refused to pay. I paid you in laughter! <laughs> we were afraid of you! Jenny, you better shut up right now or I will cut your face. Well, you know what? You missed out. These people, the Smiths, they love me with all my faults. What's going on? Oh, look, it's Tyler, all grown up like a big shot. You turned out cute. Real cute. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing now because I'm nervous. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, boy, these khakis are not getting any looser. Let's go home. Hello, all. Well, you have the smoking down.
What the hell? Why is he dressed? Why does he look like... Foot. I have everything down. Oh, do you? Indeed. What's my favorite breakfast sausage? Vice first. With sauerkraut. Also with Hefeweizen. Baseball player. Joe and Weiss. Tennis racket. Schlesinger. Made up word. Shagel barbin. I have nothing left to teach you. You are ready for the inheritance, lawyers. Oh, wait, there is something else you should know. I bedazzled my genitalia. Ah, oh, then we have a happy coincidence going on here. Mine says ABBA. Ambush, huh? Now that I think he got about jumped. it, there is one thing I left out. Back home, I had a terrible gambling problem. Owed a fortune to the East German Mafia. Huh. Yeah, I guess they were trying to smoke me out. Oh my god, we fell for that one, didn't we? <laughs> Use your board. Use your message board. How cute is Daniel Day-Lewis? Oh, good. The morphine is finally kicking in. Why doesn't Stan think I have what it takes to be chairman of the Homeowners Association? All it takes is two hours on Monday night. I don't do anything Monday nights. Well, you clean my bowl on Monday nights. Humans are talking! Dad just doesn't get it. He doesn't even want to learn about recycling. Oh! He's a fudge maker. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Where's the cola? In yep, it's all about cola with these people. In the pantry. Oh, no! What? It's room temp. So put it in the fridge. Look. Stan will be home from the store any second, and I put grenadine on the list. Grenadine turns cold cola into a Roy Rogers. You know what grenadine turns warm cola into? You tell me when I throw it in your face. Yeah! Sorry I took so long. I farted pulling into the driveway, and I just wanted to enjoy it for a while. Uh, what? Is there another bag in the car? No. But there's no grenadine in here. You don't need grenadine. Yes, I do. It goes in cola to make a Roy Rogers. I had a Roy Rogers once. Hated it. Won't have it in my house. That and cilantro. Not the herb, the Mexican singer. He's gonna be huge and I want nothing to do with him. But that's not fair! No grenadine! I'm dying! No whining! Yeah. Yeah! Yeah, we get the whole thing out. That's disgusting. That's not okay. What the hell is going on inside you? Fine. But as long as I'm here. Is that titty? Breasts are full of spiders. Perfect. That's the way I like them. Klaus, my liege. It appears we may be nearing the end of our quest. I can't stop thinking about those spiders in your boobies. He dies. What the fuck? Don't worry, Stan. I'll keep your tongue safe. No. No! No! Stan! Come get it any time. Uh, She'll have to buy me dinner first. <laughs> oh, uh, don't make me laugh. <laughs> when are you going to get your tongue reattached? Roger won't get it back. That's because I'm still waiting for that dinner. Roger. All right, fine. This is going to take a minute, Stan. I'm not a vet, but I think you're overfeeding your fish. As for you... All your organs are wrong and scary to me. You might want to have that looked at. Oh! Nice! Ah! Oh, no. My cup. I need water or I'll die. What are we supposed to do? Spit on me. Ah. It's not enough. I need more liquid. You'll have to. Whoa, that's where your pee comes out? Sometimes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait. Okay, it's in. And now I'm going to turn on the water, and you're going to feel a little pressure. Yeah. It's good. Real good. What's that for sin? Mm. No! Right, turn it up a bit. All the way. This ain't my first butt blast. No! Ew. You know what, Ladon? Turn it down just a little. Oh, Puddin, you know you're not allowed outdoors. Put her back in there. She's an inside cat. What was I saying? Oh, yes, men's clubs are shrouded in secrecy. Now, how do we go about getting Jeff's what brain? What the hell is this? I love those type of females, man. Best people in the world is when they uh, uh suck brain? That wasn't supposed to be as graphic as it was. And now there's a 10% chance that I'm pregnant. What you are having? An adult man. 
Ready to come home? Okay. Just let me grab my... Ah! Roger! Your eyes are bleeding! The baby! What? What's wrong with the baby? Bleeding eyes means the baby's coming! I thought you read the book I got you! I did, but it was just David Blaine's life story. Ah! He's here! Congratulations! It's a strange thing. Why is he so small? I thought he was coming out full grown. What's wrong? Oh, it's like one of those sponge dinosaurs. He'll get bigger once we add water. C can I... can I see him? Hey, buddy. That is ugly as the as sin itself. Roger! My mouth is super juicy for this very purpose. Babe? Jeff, it's you! Oh, give him here. I need to do skin-to-skin -skin contact right away. He's not latching. I disown this child. Oh, God. Right? I should go back to school. Oh, my God. What have I done? This gun. I've never even fired it before. I, I heard Jennifer scream and everything went blank and I killed a man. Who am I to take a life? Am I beast or man? <laughs> That's her father? What's up, Liz? No! Jeez, get me out of here, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know. What a mess. <laughs> the Smiths We've been are terrible here three people. Three generations, and now they're tearing us down to put in the new stadium. You poor old man. This lamp sucks. I'll give you two bucks for it. Mom, that is disgusting. Taking advantage of... Wait, half off this birdcage? Please, I could really use this. I foster abused birds. I'd like to put a candle in it. See? What did I tell you about the leg room in the back seat? Very roomy. And it's an extremely safe first car for your daughter. You're a good dad. Your dad's a good dad. Hey, check it out. This thing can stop on a dime. Think fast! <laughs> oh. Damn, Haley's been shot! So what? She shot me before, I've shot you a couple times, everybody shoots everybody. It's how we communicate in this family. <laughs> All right, I'll tell her you asked about her. You tell her whatever you want, but that's not how it went down. Here, 30! Oh You're doing great. Do I hear 40? Yeah, hello! 40, 45, 60! I hear 60! <laughs> Yo! Yo! No! He's still gonna eat her! No! 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 Shit! Damn it! That deserves the push-ups, bro. That, that was worth it. It's super secluded. And the main breezes, Stan, oh my god, they're curative. Okay, main. Main? Main. Main! Those bones look broken. I suggest you get to main immediately. Yeah, there's only so much main can do. Let us out of here. My family thinks I'm dead. There's gonna be hell to pay. Men seem to be thriving, Roger. I'll say. You know, if we're going to do that little detour to Lake Champlain, which I would really like to do, the man will have to be subdued. Okay, I laughed. I'm, I'm going to keep it real. God damn it. Oh, we're doing the trip. <laughs> All right, piggies. It's watering time. I made it. I'm free. Call. Run, Call. you idiot. Nine one one. I'd like to report a fire. And where are you? Where? I'll tell you where. In a better place now than I was earlier. Um, what does that even mean? It means I gotta learn to like myself. Even if my big boy butt never comes in. You know what, kid? I think you're gonna be alright. Wow! Yeah, me too. Wow! I've always wanted to eat a gorilla. A gorilla that can speak sign language. I want to eat its brain. Oh, that is truly horrifying. Ah, oh, I'm disgusted. You should be disgusted. But I do know a guy. Wait, if you're getting out of here, could you take me with you? 
You have my word, Matilda. Six months later. Matilda! This isn't wow! about Wow! It's about Greg. Now I really need to do my vocal warm-ups. Me, 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 me. Not Greg, not Greg, not Greg. All that is his will be mine. We did all of this. Francine got you on the air, and I abused my CIA powers to make that super storm. You made this storm? Lives were destroyed. But Greg's life was fixed. Now you've got a new work partner and a new life partner. Now kiss, you two lovebirds, and put some mustard on it. What? Aren't you straight? Yes. But I'm terrified of these people. They no, control no, the weather. No. <laughs> Shit! God damn it! <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, they got me on that one. <laughs> but you need to listen to me. Can you do that? Whatever you say, Stan. I'll do whatever you say. Take off your clothes. <laughs> do it! <laughs> well. Well, Tre Jolie, Coco. Tre Jolie. So take whore. your thumb and put it in your mouth like a little schoolgirl. Yeah. Yeah, we like Damn that. It, Roger, we don't have time for that. Just take them off already. Fine. God, why do you hate movies? I'm praying to you. I can't die. I can't die out here in the woods. What the hell are you talking about? It's from my favorite movie, Miller's Crossing. Bravo, Joel and Ethan Cohen. I mean, there are some proud parents, huh? Some nachas for the Cohens. <sighs> we are positioned directly across the street from Clooney's hotel. Are they building a basketball court in his hotel room? Clooney has it written into all of his movie contracts. What do the Cohen brothers see in him? You see us as you want to see us. In the simplest terms, the most convenient, convenient definitions. definitions. But what, what we, we found out, out is that each one of us is a brain, brain and an athlete, athlete and a basket case, a princess, and a criminal. Does that answer your question? Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. <coughs> I feel funny. <coughs> it must be the smoke inhalation. It's killing my eyes. Ah, oh, you know what I meant to ask you? How did we get out of there? I, I think we did some sweet maneuvers from that movie Backdraft. I never saw Backdraft. Me either. But my dad's not gay. Yes, he is. That's why he can't accept you, because he can't accept himself. Like Kevin Spacey. In Capex. Get up, buddy. Let's hit the beach. No, I, I mean... Let's take the day to settle in. Maybe watch a movie. Nope, I'm going to the beach. Sometimes I wonder where Oh, come on, Stan. You really think this is going to keep me from leaving? Who I am? Do I fit in? Oh, yeah, I've seen probably 250. Make believe in is hard alone. I mean, it's such a beautiful day outside. Out here on my own. We're always proving. Yeah, I suppose heroes are just normal people who. Ow! Oh my god! Oh! 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 Roger, what did you do that for? You already have the medal. I don't know. They did it in the movie. Oh! I mean, if we're gonna go for it, let's go for it. Oh! Oh my God, we've been robbed! Come on out, you thieving bastards! Dad! Haley, you were elected family gun shield at the last family meeting. You're also in charge of the Netflix queue. Just know this, I never don't want to have kindergarten cop. I got a spot where no one gonna find you. Won't hear what I make you squeal like a pig, neither. What? Nothing, deliverance joke. Oh, poor Ned Beatty. He can, he can play Rudy's dad all he wants, but when we look at him, all we see is him getting rammed in the woods. Ms. Blanche. Back for another concrete convention. Note to self, do not watch whatever movie he just named. Honestly, no, I'm gonna go watch that. I wanna see that. Oh, poor Ned Beatty. 
He can lack a pig, neither. What? Nothing. Deliverance joke. We look at him. All we see is him getting rammed in the woods. Ms. Blanche, back for another concrete convention. It's been ten years and three more Gary Marshall movies. Well, after pizza, we'll retire to my treehouse, watch an 80s crab fest, say Critters or Critters 2. But you don't have to be brave. You just have to look brave for your dad. That's the beauty of movies. I snip out the part where you were a raging Nancy sissy and edit it to make you out to be the hero. You can do that? Uh, yeah, Steve. I'm a professional film editor. I can do anything. Tyler Perry's movies are actually quite good before I get my hands on them. Your name is Sven Norkvist. Here, put this wig on. I always wanted blonde hair. Do I look like Rolf from The Sound of Music? Yeah, I, I don't know, kid. I think they'll go all the way to 17. 17? Ocean 17? Look, as long as that gang likes hanging out together, they're gonna keep making those pictures. I notice you call movies pictures. I do. I do do that. I'm so excited to share Dust Bowl with you. This is the greatest German movie of all time. If you don't count the Hindenburg footage. And wish activate. You know, it might not be that easy. This might be one of those dealios where you gotta learn a lesson before things go back to normal. What the hell does that mean? Like in the movies. You've seen It's a Wonderful Life, right? Nope. How about Big? Uh-uh. You saw Ted? No. Really? Look, sometimes in a movie, a person thinks they want something, but then... Oh, like in the Care Bears Big Wish movie. Okay, I learned my damn lesson. Lewis has my shit and I want it back. Not sure you have. You're calling your family shit. Luckily, I know an easy way to make that happen. I've been trying to think of a way all day. Surely it can't be that easy. As a matter of fact, it is. And please stop calling me Shirley. <laughs> how, how great is the movie Airplane? <laughs> so great. <laughs> <laughs> the pilot has an unnatural interest in that little boy. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't seem unnatural to me. <laughs> Brian takes a hard left, sending him flying up a ramp. In slow-mo, Dom looks up at... Motherfuckers gonna do this right to me while I'm eating, huh? You dirty mother... Y'all gonna send this bullshit to me. I ought to fight all of y'all. I swear to God, Lil Nas X, the next song you drop better be fire! This is your fault, somehow! Panini was beautiful! As Brian's upside-down car sails over his own, it's super sick! Brian looks back down at Dom, their heads inches from each other. They crane their necks to steal an upside-down kiss, and Dom's tongue explores Brian's mouth. What the f***? It's so disgusting, it doesn't even ruin my food. That's how nasty that is. Are you sure you read that right? Maybe it's a typo. I'll, I'll just flip ahead. Here we go. Interior, garage night. Dom stands behind a bent-over Brian and Tokyo drifts into his... Oh, that, okay, that scene goes on for like ten more pages. Dudes, this script is full of extremely graphic gay sex scenes. Yo, I might just say, cold as that? It sure has, Toshi, my friend. Hey, I understand Tosh. Oh, cool. Ah, the death of the drive-in. Harbinger of the slow demise of American cinema. The grand images, the big stars. Where did they go? Now everyone just sits at home. Now it's all TV, TV, TV. Wait a second. I have a TV! How could I forget you, my good time gal? Who needs the damn movies? Fifteen bucks to see who's chasing Ashley Judd through the woods? Movies are dead. Look, if you put your mind to it, you can achieve it. You have to keep at it. It's called tenacity. And this is called Fine Ass City. Population, one policeman's flashlight. Oh, no. It's Vanderhill. <laughs> A bird distracted me on my backswing. It was going, kick, kick, kick. That's not my name, and it was saying it right at me. Yes, yes Mr. Mr. Vanderhill. Vanderhill. I'm sure it was a female. Now go find its nest and smash its offspring before I shoot you with my turd gun. Pa -da, pa -da. Yes, yes, Mr. Mr. Vanderhill. Hey, Roger, a missing remote. Sounds like another case for... Wheels on the Light Man! Enough! 
What the hell's your problem? Every wheels and the leg man is the same. You pick some boring case, you bicker, then you solve it. The solution usually being that Roger is the culprit. It's true, I've got the remote right here. <laughs> Whoa. Good lord. My first few attempts failed, so I'm changing my approach. Gonna get more creative. Nothing set in stone, although I'm pretty sure these scorpions are going in Steve's butt. They're rare butthole-eating scorpions, and they cost me 2,000 bucks each. But then I'm not very good with money, am I, Haley? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Uh, 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 oh, yes. Uh. <laughs> uh. Hey, never thought I'd see you dirty bastards again. Ah, I feel great. Cleaned out. All right, who wants them next? No one? Okay, you heard him. Round two, boys. Now make sure this time that you really... Mm, uh, oh, oh, you know what you're doing. Man, for once in my What's life, I do shit? something with absolutely no ulterior motive, because, oh, it's supposed to make you feel so good. Never again! So what's with the operating room in your attic? I was harvesting my own organs. How do you think I was planning to pay for all this? Unfortunately, there's not much of a market for alien organs, so I'm gonna have to put them back in. Or maybe not. I haven't noticed a single difference since I took them out. Oh my god! Let's all go to the body. Let's all go to the body. Let's all go to the body. We're going through the butt. No, 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 no. <laughs> How long was I out? Jeff, did you take advantage of me? <laughs> you slut! <sighs> I have to say it was super relaxing being an innocent young girl for a change. Innocent? You did it with snot on the beach! Yeah, I did. Got sand all up in my Jenny dress. Not to mention my gopher hole. Oh, I mentioned it. Hi, I'm calling from Cute Pet Picks. Uh, we have a submission from this address, and with permission, we'd like to publish it on the site. Oh my god, yes! Yes, yes! Frontine! Haley! Get in here, bitches! Ha ha ha! Time to see some cute... What the? Hippo butt. That's not a hippo's butt. That's Roger's fat alien ass. I know it anywhere. Many times I've woken up to that ass hanging over my bowl. Well, Klaus, I guess Roger's ass is cuter than you. Dick. Hey, it's that wonderful working class Brit who owns the sunglass place at the mall. I found your husband and this grey boy at the mall. Why are they frozen like this? These geezers saw something terrible. Something that made them lose their words. Something that even $4,000 of sunglasses couldn't fix. I charged it to a credit card I found sticking out of the grey one's ass. Francine, did somebody bet me how many washcloths I could fit in my butt or did I do this just for fun? Doesn't matter. Seventeen! Roger! Company! Ugh, it is filthy in here. If only I had a... Oh, wait, here's one. And another. Look at that, I'm like a Clorox wipe dispenser. And now I need you to turn over on your side. Oh my god. Oh my god, wait. Okay, it's in. And now I'm going to turn on the water and you're gonna feel a little pressure. Yeah. It's good. Real good. Mmm. Uh, you can turn it up a bit. All the way. This ain't my first butt blast. Oh, you know what, Ladon? Turn it down just a little. What's the matter, Franny? You look troubled. Oh, they wouldn't let me in the chill zone because it's men only. What on earth is Stan doing in there that's so much more fun than hanging out with me? Well, you could ask him, but he'd have to lie. Men's clubs are shrouded in secrecy. Ah! Oh, Puddin', you know you're not allowed outdoors. Put her back in there. She's an inside cat. What was I saying? Oh, yes, men's clubs are shrouded in secrecy. Is everybody in position? Check. Yeah. Ready, Dad. Inserting laxative into hot dog A. Inserting hot dog B into my A. Here comes the limo. Is that Barack Obama? Roger, go, go. <laughs> Breaking rocks in the hot sun. I fought the law and the law won. Stop, Stan. You know, I love that song, and I'm not in the mood to do a whole... Oh, screw it. I, I needed, needed money because I, I had none. I fought the law and the law won. I fought the law and the law won. Nice try, guys, but I always keep a handcuff key up my bum. Ta-da! 
you're always making a mess and I have to clean it up. Well, this invention... Roger. Checking out my pow-pow. Continue. What up, Dink? <gasps> what is this? Your dream restaurant. Roger's Laotian Adventure. But what about my scale model? Stan, it took quite a bit of doing, but I managed to wipe my ass with it. What? Small bills are in the safe, the rest is in my butt. I'm not here to rob you. I'm here to shoot a kid in a treehouse. <coughs> oh, hey, little girl. Can you grab that cricket for me? I ain't gonna eat it or anything. Oh, hey, that looks familiar. Nice of you to bring it back. This is just the cherry on top of a really interesting week. The Smiths have done it! They won the butthole! I ain't gonna lie, I ain't sad to see it go. Welcome home, buddy. <laughs> he dies. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, Stan. I'll keep your tongue safe. I really could have... Got it, Stan. Come get it anytime. But you'll have to buy me dinner first. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. We all appreciate you listening more, Dad, but when are you going to get your tongue reattached? Roger won't let it back. That's because I'm still waiting for that dinner. Roger. All right, fine. This is going to take a minute, Stan. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. See, Blue Blossom says D. Twisms.